Hello everybody, this is Silent Mist, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, the audio was a little bit messed up, and it did frustrate me. At least I was able to keep the last minute or so of it in. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that, and if you're for some reason wondering what song I used, it was a song called Rebirth the Edge. Pretty insane song, though I'm not completely sure that it'll fit in. Tell me what you think of my song choice, and if I should use music like that in my LPs in case something like that happens. But yeah, in the last part, um, I, I think I, if I recall after doing editing, which for the first time in quite a long time I've done, um, I was leaving you off with a suspenseful ending, making you wonder what series I was talking about. And that series was a show called Angel Beats. And it was yet another thing that fulfills the requirements of being extremely odd that makes it extremely awesome. I mean, um, I'll give you a runabout of the general idea of the story. And of course, I knew it had she had a grass type Pokemon, yet I forgot to put Velociraptor up first. But, um, okay, here's how it works. In Angel Beats, all of the characters are dead, but they are not zombies. They are just alive while they are dead. Now they all have these magical, or not, yeah, they all have weapons such as guns, snipe, well, yeah, guns, they have snipers and all that stuff, they have AK-47s, they have grenades and all that kind of weird stuff, well, not really weird, but they are a bunch of high school people, which makes it funnier, and then, to make it even better, the main enemy is an angel, which, yeah, an angel, but then it turns out later that that angel isn't an angel and really is a good person and not a bad person. She's just a little weird. Yes, we'll change. So yeah, that that's Angel Beats in a nutshell. It was pretty good. I loved it. I mean, I, I definitely loved it. It was a great show, but it was weird as heck. But And it was extremely short. And the way that they ended it makes you want there to be a second season but it also makes you uh notice that if they have a second season chances are they're gonna ruin it so i'm not really hoping for a second season for angel beats more of or instead i'm hoping for an ova because the the way that who's the next pokemon coming out you know just to be safe go velociraptor um because the way it ended, if they did continue it, chances are they would completely ruin... Good, I did think correctly. Chances are they would completely ruin the story and stuff like that because it ended off with what seems to be a dream. So, if they were to make an OVA, they could extend that dream into a full hour and a half long special, which would make me extremely happy, just like how the Toaro Kagokunu Rail... Wow, I just completely failed at saying that the Tuaru Kagaku no Railgun OVA is happening. Just a sec. I am back, and yeah, it was just an abrupt cut for a second. I just needed to take care of something, and of course, he uses Protect, or she uses Protect to li live a little bit longer. Um, I her cutter, I guess. Ha! It failed. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, Angel Beats. Um... I think I was talking about Angel Beats and how... No, I was talking about OVAs and then Tuaro Kagaku no Railgun. And then how happy I would be... Uh, how happy I will be when the OVA comes out and how happy... How bleh, how happy I would be if there was a season 3 because the way that it ended, it kind of had a crappy ending. Yeah, that's, that's the bad part. A few of the, end of the series that I've watched, like... Right before I watched um, Noin, every series for like the last four series that I watched had horrible endings. And um, Pandora Hearts was one of those series that had a horrible ending, and it was terrible. But the rest of the series made up for it in its awesomeness. Ow! I just whacked my knee. In its awesomeness. Oh, wait, you're still alive? How did that happen? You don't have any HP left, do you, Minnie? But, yeah, I definitely will not deny that Pandora Hearts had a terrible ending, and it did split away from the manga, which kind of disappoints me. I hate, kind of dislike it when series do that. Uh, thank you for losing. Now we get out of my way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Be quiet and move. Oh. Steady flew away. At least you don't jump. Like off of the world like the trick master talking of which we need to go back to him what am i doing here i'm gonna go 
Let's see, what do I do here? I don't even, it's been such a long time since I've done this. I think I go over here. Yeah, blah, move. Oh, and I go to Mount Pyre. That's where I go. Instead, I came to this place. Lily Cove is the name of this place. Let's go to Mount Pyre. I think it's Pyre, like I said in the last episode, and not Pyro, because of the way. Ah! I only meant to move one step, not two. Dang it! Uh, sigh. And now that I've talked about anime for an episode and a half, and updated you guys, and then a little bit of stuff on my normal daily life, I have run out of commentary, and this is the fourth episode that I have recorded in one day, and normally if I were to do this, I would be sucking uh, already, but I still got a little bit of life left in me since it's been such a long time since I've done this last. Um, yeah, well, I just finished, right before I started editing this, ed yeah, not editing, recording this, I uh, fixed up episode 40. I still need to render it. I just didn't want to render it because that would take like an hour on my horrible netbook. Ah, my eyes itchy. Um, ha! You're paralyzed. You stupid face. I hope that I don't hurt myself. Of course I do. Ah, yeah. Loud Red is paralyzed. Gah. Wow, I'm actually talking about the game. It's like the first time in a few episodes that I'm talking about the game intentionally. Let me think. What else? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have started to play Okami, and I stress the started part of it quite a bit because um, it, it turns out that our Wiimotes suck. I don't know if I told you about this before, but our Wiimotes suck a lot. Oh, my God. My computer is getting really hot. Um... Yeah, let me try and finish that sentence. Our Wiimotes suck. Every time you shake it, the uh, the Wii will say that the nunchuck has come disconnected. And in Okami, you need to shake the Wiimote quite a bit. So, it's unplayable. I mean, I played the first, like, level, and then I got into a battle of, like, the, the second part of the first level, and then it required you to shake it. And then when I shook it, it said, Sorry, the nunchuck has come disconnected. Please try again. Please fail less a different time. Yeah, you are humiliated. Ha! I laugh at you. Ha ha ha. Now, will you not look at me so you aren't humiliated like your girlfriend? There we go. That's what I thought. I just heard a weird noise. Uh, look, it's a shop it. So, you know what? Let's talk about other video games. I'm still playing Pokemon. Oh, no, I'm not going to talk about Pokemon Heart or Soul Silver because I, I somewhat stopped playing that. Let's talk about Persona. I got Persona 3 Portable, and dang, have I loved it quite a bit. I played it for about, like, I think about 10 or so hours by now. Um, but, yeah, I, I kind of stopped playing that about a week ago for one reason that extremely frustrated me. Frustrated, did, 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 did. that's what I just kind of said. But, um, yeah, it turns out in that game, when you get a game over on a boss that is much harder than you, that I thought that you couldn't really beat, it, it sends you back to the last time that you saved. So, I don't save a whole lot in that game. And it, I played for about five or so hours, and then I got a game over. And when that happened, I'm just like, no. I am done for a long time with this game. So, yeah, five hours of my life gone, although my life really isn't exist isn't really too meaningful except for, I guess, you guys' entertainment on YouTube and my own entertainment when it comes to anime or video games. But yeah, especially since it's summer. When it's summer, I don't even have to worry about schoolwork. and. What do you think about me making a tag video? Should I like wait till later on until I become more popular or something? Or should I just make a normal tag video now for the heck of it? Because uh, I could go over some stuff because I, my life, quote unquote, no, my quote unquote life with big quotes around life is, can be interesting when used in a story format. More, well, not really interesting, but more humorous than interesting. And we are slowly running out of time. I think I have about, no, not even a minute left. And I have to call it quits. So, in the next part, I might 
if I can remember because this is done in my record yeah this is the end of my recording session um, I will try and talk about my life I guess or my quote-unquote life ha 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 with big laughs around that so yeah if you like my videos please subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye